news tonight. A suspect is behind bars after a man is found stabbed to death in his Poteet home. Erin Nichols has been following this investigation all day. She's live in Poteet with the very latest. Erin? Jackie, Anascosa County Sheriff's deputies tell me they arrested 24-year-old Jonathan Escobedo just minutes ago. They believe he stabbed 50-year-old Luis Reyes here inside his home on Oak Crest and then ran into the nearby woods. It led to a search that investigators say they're glad is now over. This quiet Poteet neighborhood woke up to a startling discovery. At around 10, Atascosa County Sheriff's deputies found 50-year-old Louis Reyes stabbed to death in his home. When deputies arrived, they uh, uh, were informed by a neighbor that there was a man who fled the house. They went to go check on his neighbor, and he found him uh, deceased in the house. They began to search for the suspect on foot and by helicopter. It's thick woods, you know, it's uh, remote. He could cross a road and be in a thousand acre ranch in no time. So. I mean, we live in the country and they can be hiding anywhere, you know. Minerva Perez lives in the neighborhood. She was driving home when she saw the commotion at the house. I saw the, you know, the tape, um, so I figured something happened, something bad happened. It's not normal we see stuff like this out here. It's rural. You know, everybody knows everybody. Everybody's either related or know each other out there. It's still kind of mind-boggling. I still really wish I could believe that it wasn't true. Rick Salazar works at a corner store in the neighborhood. He says Reyes was a regular customer. Yeah, anybody that knew him will tell you that he was a pretty decent guy. Salazar says many of his customers were shocked to hear what happened and hopes investigators have more answers soon. We lost somebody pretty, pretty close to us in the area. Now, sheriff's investigators tell me that they are in the process of interviewing Escobedo, and they have not yet released a motive for the killing. Reporting live in Poteet, Aaron Nichols, News 4, San Antonio. Thank you, Aaron.